Hey, what's up guys? It is Ben 10,000 Why Joe, your friendly neighborhood Yu-Gi-Oh! superhero, and I'm coming at you with a unplanned video because this video idea comes from my good buddy, Slim. And uh, Slim here said, he basically shoots me up a message. He's all like, bro, bro, I need you to, I need you to share this, this news in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. And I was all like, I will do both. I will make a video and I will share this new news. And what is the new news, you guys might ask? YGO Pro is is donezo. All right, it's done. It's gone, and in its place is going to get a whole new program. I'm sure Grandpa Ben is probably going to be angry about it too. I can hear him now. <laughs> All jokes aside, this new program is really cool, and I'm going to be showcasing it for you guys today. So let's cut over to that program. Alrighty, so I've decided to hide my face so you guys can see everything, and as you guys know, uh, like Slim with his pet deck, which is Mech Knight Invoked, I'm playing my dinosaurs. This deck probably looks familiar to you guys. It is the video that, uh, it is the deck that was featured in my latest video. You know, no lightning storm, no problem, and, uh, I just am gonna show you some really cool features with this. So, obviously, you have all of the the cards and things like that that are in the system but on top of that like look check this out guys let's look over here at the band list you look how many different ways you can play you have not applicable which is just free for all you have goat you have ocg korea ocg rush duel speed duel our modern current game traditional worlds go again i'm not sure why there's goat twice on here but there you go. You have so many different ways you can play Yu-Gi-Oh. It's fucking wild. But you have GOAT! You guys, we have GOAT. This is GOAT! Also, I'm sure Slim showed this, but I'm going to show it too. They have star all the starter decks and all the structure decks. Which, by the way, guys, if I ever decide to do the structure deck wars again... That's going to be freaking handy to have around. That's all I'm saying. Where was this when I was doing the structure deck wars? <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't like to curse often, but damn. <laughs> oh, man. So that's another really cool feature. Um, you got all the same stuff that you always had. But this is another really cool new feature. And uh, Slim covered this, and I'm going to cover it too, just to make sure that everybody is aware we have a really new useful feature, test hand. So basically, boom, now it just showed you a test hand, an example of what you might get. Also, check this out. You can do restart, try again. Look at that. No, we don't activate anything. No, <laughs> you get the point. You see the idea here is, you have, if you don't like your hand, you can click restart and try again, just to see how often like bricky hands happen or don't happen. You can do this before you even hop into a game this is just crazy also i'm sure you guys are probably noticing like if you look at some of the cards and stuff like if you look at other people's it's a little bit better i don't know why this happened for me but uh it, it's not affecting the functionality of the game and i probably will when i figure out how i'll probably change the background anyway so i'm not gonna worry about it <laughs> just to be honest that's one of the other really cool features you also got your usual settings you know your log your chat your settings you know you can i turned off all the sound effects and music because i don't care for their music. Um, you also have a few other settings and things like that. All right, now we're gonna come out of here. You can also save these for replays purposes. So maybe, so uh, Slim made this point in his video uh, that you could save the, re the hand replays. So if you couldn't remember a line of play, you could go back and rewatch and figure out and to remind yourself how you did a line of play with a specific hand. So that's a really neat function right there. I think just that that is just gonna be so useful and of course like you know you can change you can save it whatever you want to you know you know Ben's bad deck hand lol you know whatever you want to change it to but I'm not gonna save anything all right now let's go exit here all right you also have your servers you have your uh, na pacifistic casual and then you have your EU central competitive I imagine they have put in a, uh, I don't know, but I think they have put in a, uh, a competitive area. So, like, everybody here is playing 
you know, or should should realistically be playing a competitive deck. You know, if you guys want to see some some replay footage, let's see, let's look over here. Oh, cool. We are now spectating a game. Perfect. Uh, but there you go. This is kind of what your duels will look like. We're gonna watch the a few few moments of this game just to kind of show you. I I know. I, ironically, I get the one who's got a name name Peepoo or whatever, and as ooh. <laughs> Look at that, there's a lightning storm. He didn't watch my video. <laughs> All right, now we're going to leave now. That was just to show you, you can you can play a game, you can watch a game. You refresh. You can show locked rooms. Show started rooms. And then... You also... And this is another really nice feature. You can play against the... Uh, the AI so you click local AI pick a deck doesn't matter what it is um, some of these are gonna be better than others but uh you know I think you also play against them like at their max so for example you play Zodiac you click the checkbox and then and then now you can play against anything you want see and the AI talks to you not that that's important but this is also another good way for you to kind of play against uh, other things. Like, like obviously, we're playing against the... Uh, I'm going to do ignore chain here so it'll stop asking me. But basically, the uh, there you go. You can use the AI as a tool. So, see, like, it, it, if you're not ready to play against a person, you can play against the AI. Figure out if your combos are even functionally functional. Like, for example, if it takes you a few turns to beat the AI... You know, maybe you might want to rethink how you play that deck. So now you have that. You have puzzles, if you're into that. Uh, I don't have the puzzle, obviously, because I don't, don't think I loaded any of them in, I guess, for mine. But that's all right. I don't care about the puzzles. You have your replays where you can watch it. You also have your latest replay. I don't remember what I saved here. Um, let's see here. Oh, and then you have this, so you can also make some other changes to your system. So, for example, uh, Slim was talking about how he had, like, his set scale to 200. Well, when I did it, it was too big for me, uh, for my, my small-ass screen. So, <laughs> so I went back to the usual 100, but you can change this so you can make the images bigger on your screen. Uh, so, so feel free to play with that if, if, to your liking. You can change the skin or of the uh, of the buttons and everything, so that's kind of neat. So I personally am probably gonna go with something more like this, but that's just because I am Ben Ten Thousand YG over here, and I like the color green. So <laughs> green and black are my colors, man. <laughs> so then you just click apply and reload, and then voila. Now your uh now all of your stuff is in a green font, which that's another really cool feature that uh, Slim didn't show on his video that I discovered and I was like ooh look at this I'm still toying around with it so I'm sure there's tons of stuff I haven't um messed with as far as like to know all the ins and outs of the new uh Project Ignis uh, Edo Pro, but this I'm already liking a lot of the changes I'm seeing. I, I pretty much also real quick this was in the discord so a lot of people didn't know this um if you didn't know, you know like for some people uh when they download this they won't have the pictures of the cards so what you'll do in this scenario and i'm going to show you is you'll go to your project ignis file and you see how it says picks here this is literally just copied over from the YGO profile. Now, in the, in the Discord, they said if you didn't have the pictures, you could just copy and paste it, and voila. And it worked great for me. That should work for you. And I'm sure that as we get new cards, there will be ways to <clears throat> add those card pictures in as we go. All right, so there you go, guys. This is the new Project uh, Ignis Edo, Edo Pro. This is YGO Pro's replacement. Uh, if you guys don't know, YGO Pro will not be updating its system any further going forward from now this is ygo pro's replacement um that is according to the discord that was formerly ygo pro's discord um if you go to discord it'll have the new project ignis name that is ygo pro 
don't like delete it or whatever. Uh, if you want to stay up to date with YGO Pro or its replacement here, uh, Edo Pro. So, <clears throat> guys, this is the, the simulator I will be using from this point forward. Um, you might see YGO Pro here and there. We'll see. Um, it, you know, but I wouldn't count on it. Uh, come May, I believe the, the, they said the, in May there were they're they're not gonna have they're not gonna update it. They're gonna shut it down completely. So. Um, I think the message said May 5th. So there you go, guys. This is the new uh, thing, Project Ignis. If you guys want to get this for your machine, um, all you have to do is go to the former YGO Pro Discord. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, both uh, Slim and Asian Eyes will have links in their descriptions uh, to, to that Discord so you can get the, the download link to get this. Um, and, uh, guys, I look forward to playing you. So anyway, guys, I am Ben 10,000 of YGO. I'm your friendly neighborhood Yu-Gi-Oh! superhero. And uh, I'm going to go play on the new simulator. I'll catch you. Catch you later. Peace.